Guess what? The blizzard reviving talk of global warming. A new report says the heating of the planet is actually what's causing this monster snowstorm. Your next guest, not buying it. Mark Morano is founder of Climate Depot. Dot com. Well, hey, what's the problem here, right, Mark? I mean, well, it, it, we have had weird weather. Two of the biggest snow months in history have happened in New York City this year alone. Yeah, and the problem is, Brian, if we had had no snow and record warmth, this would have been blamed on global warming. The New York Times has officially jumped the shark, so to speak, and is now blaming record cold and snow on man-made global warming. Uh, and this is just an embarrassment for this newspaper, which in the past has blamed hot summers on global warming and has tried to blame previously blamed cold weather on natural variability. The New York Times now sees fit to publish these kind of rants. This is climate astrology. The U United Nations, by the way, just everyone knows the the, the climate Bible of the global warming believers said that we would have warmer winters with less severe storms. So it's not going according to their predictions. But after the fact, they're changing them. There's no way anyone can falsify the global warming theory now because any weather event that happens proves their case. It's no longer science. This is a, a dark day for the okay, New York so, Times. Okay, so that's, that's what you're arguing then. You're saying sure. that like, no matter what happens, if it's 120 degrees in July in New York, or we get the biggest snowfall in the history of New York, you're saying that supporters of global warming are going to use yes. any weather to make their claim. They've already done this. In fact, they're blaming floods, droughts, uh, hurricanes on global warming, the lack of hurricanes on global warming. If you go back to Al Gore's 2006 film, An Inconvenient Truth, he didn't warn, warn us of extreme blizzards and record cold winters coming. He was warming, warning of warming. So if this was a case, why didn't they before the fact do this? Ten years ago, the ClimateGate University the, of East Anglia in the U.K. warned that kids in the year 2000 warned kids wouldn't know what uh, snow was anymore because of the lack of, war of cold winters. They can't have it both ways. They're trying to have it both ways. One scientist actually said this is now akin to the predictions of Nostradamus or the Mayan calendar when they're doing this. They're getting any weather event and saying, hey, it's consistent with man-made global warming. Well, yes, that's true because man-made global warming has ceased to be a science. It is now the level of your daily horoscope when the New York Times publishes rubbish like bundle up its global warming. Well, listen, you know, Fonzie jumping that shark, maybe he should have gone ice fishing. Mark Morano. <laughs> thank you very thank much. You. Thank you. Climatedepot.com.